welcome back to my channel lovelies i'm emma today i'm decorating my house for autumn and with this being well known as the soup season i'll be sharing how i make one of my favorites chicken and barley soup autumn is by far my favorite time of year i love the cooler but not quite freezing weather perfect for walking not just because the air feels so fresh and crisp but it smells amazing too all earthy and woody as all the plants begin to die off and the leaves fall leaving you surrounded by gorgeous golden orange and brown colors and just the odd fleck of mossy green i love to bring these colors into my home for the warmth and coziness they create a stark contrast from the minimal white space i enjoy throughout most of the year but very welcome although i do live a minimalist lifestyle on the whole meaning i'm very intentional about what i bring into my life and my home including obligations people and physical items i do enjoy adding personal and seasonal touches to my home to reflect the change in seasons or as part of celebrating holidays it's something I've always done, granted on a much bigger scale before my minimalist days, especially when my kids were younger. I'd decorate my entire house for Easter, Halloween, Christmas, as well as my outdoor spaces quite elaborately, which as well as costed me a lot of money, cost a lot of my time in arranging, packing away, storing and organising something i no longer want to spend so much of my money time and space on i no longer have a huge accessible attic space just this small cupboard housing just one or two of these containers for each season or occasion which is great because it means i can't get too carried away with buying things and changing things up is really quick simple and enjoyable instead of as it once was a quite hectic and stressful event. So I've emptied out my container of autumnal decor in gorgeous greens, terracotta browns and gold, which were of course inspired by the leaves outside, but also by the colours in two items in my living room, which are my favourite items in my home, both from home sense bought separately at least eight years ago and I'm still not tired of looking at them. These look lovely all year round but especially with my autumnal decor. So before I begin I'm going to set the perfect atmosphere by putting on one of my favourite YouTube channels, Calmed by Nature. This channel creates the most beautiful audio and visual experiences that seem to transport you to serene natural landscapes like the riverside on a lazy summer afternoon and magical cozy spaces like a cozy cabin on a stormy night. These videos not only stimulate your senses in a way that truly submerges you into these locations but they help you to ease your mind, relax and have personally helped me with stress, anxiety and with trying to live more presently in the moment. In this moment, I want to feel the ambience of a rainy autumn day in a cosy coffee shop. Perfect. I've been burning this white sage pumpkin candle for a couple of weeks now. It smells amazing. I'll let you know where this and all other decorative pieces shown in this video are from, as well as prices in the description. Normally when I'm not burning a candle, I diffuse some essential oil in my pumpkin pie scent, which is a blend of cinnamon, clove leaf and orange. So we've got sound, sight, smell covered, and I'll pour myself a coffee into one of just two seasonal mugs I'll allow. I used to have far too many of them. And then to touch that cozy feeling, I'm gonna pull out my fluffy throws and cushion covers, switch them up and add them to my sofas.
probably not the best idea because now I just want to relax on them and not move for the rest of the day. Not long. So I'll finish off my living room with a few extra pieces. Again, I'll switch these out with what's already in place so I don't have too much clutter and extra cleaning. Now the exception to this rule of having all of my seasonal decor fit inside my containers is this canvas which my boyfriend bought for me only yesterday after I asked him to pick up some watercolour cards for me to print an autumnal scene onto in place of Buddha. I'm not too sure where it's going to go when Buddha returns but I'll worry about that later because it does look lovely and I'm very grateful but also very impressed by my boyfriend's choice. So after lighting a couple more candles, my living room's all done and I just can't wait to get all cosy in it later. Moving on to the hallway now and my downstairs bathroom, I'm just adding a diffuser in vanilla scent, this cute pumpkin hand towel and this little pine cone decoration down the hallway and onto the door into my kitchen I'm adding this simple pampas grass wreath which is small, simple and also easy to store. In my kitchen I'm replacing my plants which can sit in my upstairs bathroom for a while with this dried flower arrangement and also replacing a few other items before of course lighting some more candles and what a lovely cozy space I now have for some cooking I think it's the perfect time to share how I make my nan's chicken and barley soup which is something I've promised to do for a while now with just five ingredients it's very quick and easy to make but it's also very nutritious high in protein fiber and low in fat and it does taste delicious. To a pan, add 500 millilitres of water, three quarters of a cup, around 108 grams of rinsed barley. I'm adding this amount to make quite a thick soup, but as with any of the ingredients, you can add as little or as much as you like, and half a teaspoon of salt. Partially cover the pot with the lid and bring it to a boil. Whilst it's heating, add two chicken or vegetable stock cubes to the water so that the barley can absorb the flavour with the water. Reduce the heat to a low simmer and let it cook for 25 to 30 minutes. Leave the cooked barley to sit for 10 minutes If you want a thicker stew-like consistency for your soup, leave the barley in this water. I personally like to drain the barley and add it to a broth, which you can make by boiling a whole chicken or some thighs and removing the chicken as well as any excess fat after cooking. I made a simple stock by adding six stock cubes to one and a half litres of water. Next, add in cooked chicken. For a leaner soup and one that takes less time and feel to me, I've chosen to buy a cooked chicken, which is exactly what my nan used to do. I like mine shredded, but you can of course cut it up into chunks if you'd prefer. For a vegan alternative, you can use shredded tofu. Add in sliced carrot, I'm adding two and thinly diced onion, I'm adding one. 
I personally like my vegetables thin, but you can of course have them as thick as you like. To give my soup a nice rich colour, I add in some browning, just a tiny drop or it ends up black and it doesn't look so appetising. Bring to a boil, pop on the lid and then simmer for about 30 minutes. In the meantime, I put this part-baked loaf into the oven for 8 minutes and slice it ready to serve with my soup. And there you have it, homemade chicken and barley soup. Perfect for a cosy autumn night at home. I really hope you enjoyed this autumn inspired video and finally seeing how I make my chicken and barley soup. Let me know if you give it a try and also what you think of it or if there's anything you'd do differently. I don't claim to be a great cook. I just had quite a few requests for a video on how to make me soup. So I'm sure some of you will have a few hints and tips for me for next time. But this does taste delicious anyway, so I'm happy. And there's plenty for my two girls who love it too. Although it will be tomorrow now because they're both having tea out tonight. So once my kitchen's all cleaned up, I'm going to put my everyday decor in storage until I'm ready to switch it up again. And make the most of this peaceful time, my new decor and cosy blankets on the couch with Benny. Enjoy the rest of your day or evening. Take care and I'll see you soon.